we're going to look for organ grape and see if there's any berries left on them. We usually pick them in in end of August, first part of September, but now it's in October, so we'll, but at least we'll, we'll uh, check out the plants, they'll be still good. We use it for the, the kidneys and the inner organs to clean them out. We use the whole plant and then the, the yellow color for yellow, the use is the yellow for dyes and the berries for making jelly and jams. You know, I remember my grandparents used picking it and storing it, and we drank that through the winter months, and they, they made it into a tea, and then we, we drank the roots and the, the branches, everything, the leaves, you know, all that, because they're evergreen, and they last through the, the leaves stay green all winter. I'm looking forward to going out and looking for this. We should climb up up the hill there and see if there's anything. I knew people that would make it in big, those big gunny sacks, like those 100 pound sacks. They'll have that stuff and they'll have it hanging in their, their sheds and then when they needed it, they just took it in, boiled it and made tea out of it and drank it. And uh, all the family would drink out of it. I know when we were kids, it was kind of a ritual. <laughs> Here's half a cup, drink it before you do anything else. I'm trying to get some with roots. The whole root we can use for tea. The berries, <coughs> we make jam and jellies. That should be enough for tea, you think? You can use it as a dye. And you see how yellow it is? I had the one lady stripped it, and I guess, and boiled the thing, and then they put the white, par white kerchief in it, and it turned a nice lemon yellow. See how nice and yellow it is. Yeah. We'll all drink some in case you think we're poisoning them. <laughs> For storing in the winter, you, you can just dry it and then just put it in a bag for storage. And then when you need it, when you need some in the winter, then you just take it out and make some more tea and drink it. Stall. Yes, all oh, The flowers are real bright yellow mm. in the spring, and then they then they have kind of a blue blue berry later on in a cluster. Maa, it's our melamin, our medicine for the kidneys to clean the kidneys out, clear the liver, all our inner works, the water system, cleans them out. Cheers. Good health. I've been told by many different people, including non-natives, that whatever grows in your area is the medicine that you need. Remember the coyote story? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all have our medicines and we all have our, and wherever, like you know, this here grows here quite plentiful. So that would probably be a good blood cleanser for our people here on in this area. And going on with that Chiclep story, the coyote story about our medicines, you know, we have certain medicines work better for different people in different areas, you know, so just encourage people to look around you, what's plenty, what's growing plenty in your area and use that. And a lot of times you just boil like these here, boil it, strain it, Put it in the fridge if you want, like put it in a jar, not just yeah. no plastic containers because it it takes those toxins out of the plastic and to store it there. And if you want to drink it warm, add a little warm water to it. Melamin medicine thing. Melamin medicine thing. Yeah. Melamin medicine thing.